name is Yeshman Blechen, and you're watching The Morning Show with Yeshman Blechen. Stop it! Good. I let it go longer that time because I was enjoying it. Every day the crowd gets bigger, I think the word's getting out about the show. You never know what's going to happen. And if you miss it live, you miss things that it might get cut out in the replay. Not a lot of people know that. Sometimes we cut out things from the replay. Look at all the goddamn Danish. I want to thank all the people who, who brought the Danish. I got all their names. There's Jerry, Mike, Susan, and Linda. Thank you so much for all the goddamn Danish. Because there's no Danish over there still. Did you notice? Who here wants a Danish? I got extra. Who wants a Danish? Come up and get a damn Danish. I haven't licked any of them yet. Who want, you want a Danish? He's got more Danish. What's your name? What, what's your name, sir? No, you eat them. You no, eat what's, them. Your, I, I, what's your name? My name's Randy. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> Terrific. Anybody want a Danish? Come on, somebody come up here and take one. We got so many, look at this. Jerry's coming up. There you go. Enjoy yourself. I don't, don't sit down though. Good. Have a Danish. Good. You too. You too. Get one. Get one and get the hell off the stage. You dropped one. Who wants this one? Who wants this one? You. This one's for you. That's for you. You get the dropped one. Good catch. Good. Now we're going to have a good show. Hang on. This one looks like lemon. Not lemon. Whatever that is, I don't know, but I hate it. Okay, we got some announcements. <clears throat> we'll start with announcements. Star Wars is better than Star Trek. Wait till the next announcement. Next announcement, Star Trek is better than Star Wars. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, in another, in other movie news, this is just for me. The movie Love actually is horrible. It's a terrible movie, and if you like it, and if it's dear to your heart, you're wrong. <laughs> they should call it shit, actually. <laughs> These are not opinions. These are just factual announcements. All right, let's get on with the show. Uh, I know I always say that we got a good show, but today, oh boy, hold on to your seats. It doesn't, there's no reflection on what type of show it is, but just in case your seats are moving, the first guest is a very talented actor. He's been doing movies for years, since the 70s. He's done dozens of movies. I'm a big fan, and we are so lucky to have him. Put your hands together for Robert Loggia. <laughs> you, look, you look different, Mr. Loggia. Uh, it's... Uh... Jim Boja. It's what? Jim Boja. Jim Boja. Boja. Maybe it says on your here notes. Boja. Maybe on your notes. Jim Boja. Well, this is awkward because all my questions are for Robert Loja. <laughs> Let's see how many answers I know. All right. You know what? Maybe, maybe I got some that apply to you. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Uh, oh, here's one. This is very general. What was it like to work with Tom Hanks in Big? <laughs> While I did not work with Tom Hanks in, uh, in Big, uh, I suppose uh, uh, Robert Loja had a wonderful time. So he's nice, Tom Hanks? Sorry, I Every, wasn't listening to the answer. Uh, 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 every, everyone says so. All right, no, it's okay. I, I know who okay. you are, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy Boja, I know who this guy is. He's a musician, he's fantastic. They know, my people, they, they know. know. They know. He had to miss the cruise last year because he was too busy tuning his guitars. Yes, that is true. Why are you so concerned with having your guitars in tune? People don't care how the music sounds. They come to a Jimmy Boja show for the dancing. That's true. But, but, but this is my dance move. It's pretty good. Ain't nothing like a good wrist dance. Where did you get your dancy pants? My dancing pants? In France? Uh, from a guy named Lance. From a guy named Lance. 
I just want to point out that's the worst joke I've ever written. So you wrote that. I want to talk. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What is happening? Oh, thank you. Oh, that's not for thank me. Very much. That's I, uh, for you. I ordered breakfast. You did? Why don't you put it on your lap like a real man? What is that? Excuse me. Well, oh, you got some. You, oh, where are you going? What's happening? Oh. You're prepared. Look at this. This is what happens. You get a morning show. Musicians are not used to waking up so early. He didn't allow time for breakfast. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Hi, Yashman. I'm yeah. happy to be here. All right, look at that. Now you got two knives and two forks. Would you like a knife and fork? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'll, I'll save them for later. Cheers. I collect them because they don't check your luggage when you leave. <laughs> So you're a fan of NRBQ. I love NRBQ. What, what other letters do you like? Like O. O is good. It's very round. E is very useful. Uh, well, you can comb your hair with it. Give me about 45 minutes to figure out that joke. I got it. It was good. Thank you. You should write lyrics that use the letter E. <laughs> <laughs> you've uh, you've uh, revitalized my career. I'm going to check that out. Thank it's you. It's going to open up a whole new world. Yeah, you really have. What other letters? You like uh, K Y? <laughs> those, those are also useful. Those are very good. Very useful. They so come you, in handy. Mm, so you play the ukulele. I uh, I play the ukulele. Okay, that's like a ukulele, but it's. It's easy. Pronounced correctly. Yes. Yes. It's also easier to play. So the you, ukulele. 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 Leaky lula. Like, it's like a guitar, but it's smaller. Am I correct? You, shockingly, Yeshman, you are correct. has fewer strings. Two in a row. <laughs> what are other facts about the ukulele lately? It has a hole? Got a hole in it. Got a hole in it. Sure, just like a person. <laughs> it's true. It's we got true. seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. We got nine. Wow. Unless you get stabbed. Then, then you, you got, got ten. Then you got bonus holes. Oh, bonus holes. <laughs> okay, let's see. I did the bonus holes material. <laughs> no, I am actually a fan of your music. And I'm a fan of the way that you bring breakfast on the show. In Thank fact, you. let me tell you something. I have here in my pocket. Yes. I got one copy left of your CD, Jim Bogia Live. Live! Uh, I got, this is the last copy I got. It's $28 cash payable to me. Anybody want it, $28? I'll open it up, I'll sign it. Bargaining twice the price. They sell it in the downstairs for $18, but that's not my copy. <laughs> It's not going to be signed by me. Come on, I need the money. Nobody? Nobody's got $28? Nobody carries cash. That's true. Uh, do, you, do, you take, uh, do you take room cards? I take library cards. OK. In case I want to check out a book. It's not all funny. <laughs> Listen, I'm glad to have you on the show. I'm glad to be on the show. How's your breakfast? Uh, it's good. Uh, I did not anticipate uh, holding a microphone. Sure, you didn't uh, think and, and this. So I'm, sa I'm having a bit of trouble with the cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you, well, you, would you, you should would you, only, would you, you care to help me cut? No, I'm not going to help we, you that, but you should only eat the foods that are finger foods. Oh, you reach over, you, you grab, you grab you a go. little something that's there finger you go. food. There you go. That's good. <laughs> try try now, the what eggs. Am I gonna do? Baked tomatoes are terrible. 
They are just horrible. Baked tomatoes are lovely. They're the worst. Hang on, I'm gonna use your napkin. Please do. There we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Good. My fingers had tomato on them. Well, it's been wonderful having you. Thank you so much for the silverware, everybody. Jimmy Bojack. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Fantastic. He's fantastic. What? He what? took the microphone. You son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, hang on. You son oh. of a bitch. Ah. Thinks I can, oh, now he's bringing it back. And pick the mic cozy up. How's it gonna stay warm without the mic cozy? On the floor. Hey, oh my goodness. On. Come on, he's yes, ruined, he ruined I've the ruined show. the show. You ruined the show. <laughs> All right. He ruined the show, but in a good way. <laughs> we need to kill a little time right now, so let's do the wave. Starting here, go! All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Now let's do it with sound, make a sound. Only a true professional knows how to kill time between guests. <laughs> and that's me. All right, next I'm gonna bring out, next is for a, for a change, we're gonna bring out a musician. <laughs> this man, very talented, he, he, he records music in the popular subgenre, nerdcore hip hop. Sure, very popular. He's released six albums, which begs the question, enough already? <laughs> How much nerdcore hip-hop do you need? <laughs> Apparently more, because he's about to release another one. <laughs> Clap your hands for Master of Ceremonies Frontalot! <laughs> Morning. Pleasure to see you, Master of Ceremonies. What, what, what are your favorite types of ceremonies? I like a, I like a boat wedding, like an unexpected boat wedding. Sure. I mean, nobody, nobody came prepared and then everybody's already there. It's like a, the, it's catered already and the captain does the thing. So like there's only certain countries where it's binding. <laughs> sure. I asked this of another rapper, we had Jeannie Gray on earlier. Do you, uh, do you like the cuss on the mic? Me, uh, I, try to, I try to keep it clean just in case the Disney Corporation wants to write me a check. <laughs> sure, they're good. And they're made of money, and they don't give any to anybody. <laughs> so MC, MC, if, if you do it for short, MC. As you like. MC front a lot. Why, why are you fronting, yo? <laughs> uh, it's, it's really... More than we want to get into in this time frame. But there's reasons, I got reasons why I'm fronting. Those are, those are explored in All the right. material. Your I host, Yasmin Bleeth, everybody. Oh, boy. <laughs> <coughs> Finally, somebody pronounces it correctly. <laughs> I enjoy your music. Oh, thanks. I just don't care for all the talking. Yeah. <laughs> just let the music play. It's got such a nice beat. I get that a lot. I do. do you? I do. Maybe next time, the next album, instrumentals. I just, that and would save me a lot of work. And just, <laughs> just the beat. None of those extra instruments. They just get in the way. Do you dance during your show? Uh, for some definitions of dance, yeah. Do you dance? Where did you get your dancing pants? <laughs> They're um, uh, special. Do you actually... It's like a real talk show question, because sure. my dancy pants are, I, I mean, they're special pants. They're <clears throat> special pants? They're called Levi's Action Slacks. <laughs> They've been in production since, I have to assume, the 70s. They went out of print a few years ago, and since then I've been hoarding them off of eBay. <laughs> All true. And this helps you show? <laughs> You don't want to see the show without those pants. I guess, I guess not. <laughs> Believe me, I've done this show without pants. It's a different experience. <laughs> because I go commando. <laughs> you ever do the chicken dance? No, what's the chicken oh, dance? Oh, it's wonderful. You flap your arms like a chicken and you wiggle your little butt 
and then you clap four times. Everybody loves it. You know it. You want to come up and do it? No, no. Are you sure? Somebody wants to come up and do the chicken dance. Nobody wants to come up and do the I mean, chicken dance. I, it sounds like you're an expert. Do you want to show it? Do you want to see him do the chicken dance? Okay. We did it. What are the three sexiest pronouns? Um, it, they, and some. Okay. I don't know what a Some's pronoun is. Some's not a pronoun. Is. You're not using English correctly. I have a microphone. <laughs> All authority is vested in those who have live audio. I was told I was coming on with America's beloved stoner funny man, Doug Benson, and I don't know what show I am. <laughs> Different guy. I was, I was at the merch table downstairs, and I saw that you had a box set that sells for $8,200. I do, yeah. The diamond edition. Diamond edition of my I, USB box set. I bought three of them. <laughs> Who do I talk to to get a refund? Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just plug it into your computer. Okay, and then diamonds come out? Wait till the screens sort of pop up and flicker away for about eight minutes and make sure you're connected to the internet. I don't trust it. <laughs> your, your refund will come in due time. I don't, I, don't, I don't trust it. You're wonderful, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Except for that one part. Mm. Your host, a, 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 a sensibly an old Jewish man, everyone. What? everyone. Please, give it up. I'm, I'm a Buddhist. I'm a Buddhist. Don't you try to steal the mic. Your host, a Paul Rudd, who was left in the freezer for too long, everyone. Please give it up. That's, that's for sure. MC Fernalot, that's the end. Go home. Get off the ship. No, wait. Wait until tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>